Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And of course, uh, one of the things that we talked about in the past couple of uh, a couple of times is um, the fact that there's a lot of problems with AMD CPUs. Uh, why? Because of the different security flaws that were discovered and we're waiting for microcode. Well, if you thought you were safe because you are using an Intel CPU, and you can, of course, go and check that out by going right-clicking the Start menu and going to Task Manager, you could actually see your uh, in the Performance tab your type of CPU. So here I've got an Intel Core i5. Well, there's a new attack for Intel also. It's called Downfall, and it can actually steal encryption keys and data, and it can even go um, even further than that, stealing password, encryption keys, uh, any you know private links, for emails, messages, banking info, and so on, uh, and from anyone that's sharing the computer also. This is a pretty widespread um, problem because when you look at the CPUs that are impacted by this, it goes uh, through the Skylake family from uh, Skylake, Cascade Lake, Cooper Lake, Amber Lake, KB Lake, Coffee Lake. I mean, this goes back several years. Uh, Tiger Lake family, Ice Lake family, uh, Rocket Lake, all of that. It is uh, really impacting a whole bunch of Intel CPUs. So um, what they are saying is that there is one positive side is that uh, attacking from the outside, meaning that attacking if you don't have physical access to the computer is a complex thing. It's not impossible, but it makes it so difficult that they don't think this could happen. But of course, they do say that it could happen if somebody for example, has the physical access. And, you know, we often think of, oh, well, I don't have anybody else that, you know, uses my PC. Well, that includes, if you're not careful, some malware that could be installed and that could actually impact this. So, you know, this is where it is at. It's uh, not just a physical person. It could be, you know, if you're not careful, uh, malware that will um, actually use this. It actually can uh, decipher... Uh, most of the encryptions, uh, and this is due to the fact that it actually um, kind of breaks something that the CPU uses, um, and the Intel CPUs, well, they have something called software guard extensions, and this is actually a hardware-based memory encryption. And it separates the memory code and the data from the software on the system. So there's kind of two layers that don't see each other. But when this exploit is on the way, this is where it breaks and it creates a tunnel where all the layers can be seen. So, you know, it's not good. It's not as bad as the AMD. We'll say it like this, but there is and there will need to be microcode updates. Once again, when will that happen? And microcode updates for most of you for CPUs like Intel and AMD will come through Windows Update. And a Windows Update at some point when released, there will be a uh, microcode update that will appear here that will be for the CPU. Now, one of the things that they say is that they're trying to mitigate the impact also. When you try to patch CPUs, this is always a big problem because it's difficult to know if it will have a big or moderate impact on the system. But um, they say that they're going to try to mitigate so that the impact is as small as possible. We'll see what that, when that happens uh, at some point. But uh, Intel also now um, having an impact with the downfall um, you know, security problem. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.